Now, is anything truly new in war? War is hell. Awful things happen. And what these logs tell us is that war is hell. They don't hide from the truth. They're not spun by a military spin doctor talking in an air-conditioned conference room in the green zone. Uh, this is visceral, uh, unequivocal death written in raw detail. 109,000 lives lost over the course of these reports. We're all doing what we can in something so huge that people can and hopefully will study this data for years. This, this is worth telling, this is worth getting out there. The lack of respect for human life runs like a common thread through the material. These images are of a helicopter crew who have just received orders to bomb a building where three enemy soldiers are thought to be hiding. If you'd like, uh, Crazy Horse 1A, you could put up that's on that building. A passerby suddenly turns up. But the crew don't wait. The crew could have waited until the man had passed. This is perhaps a measure of how human life was valued in Baghdad. Private cars being pursued by an attack helicopter. The driver gets out of the car and holds his arms up in a gesture of surrender. The more horrific the discovery the investigators in London make, the more they get the feeling of being threatened. It gradually becomes obvious that someone's watching their office. I do know that I'm being listened into, uh, monitored um, by forces, I don't know. I've received strange text messages uh, from anonymous sources. I've received death threats, and they're not very nice, clearly. And particularly the one that talked about my children, I just think that was a bit unnecessary. There's op-eds uh, in the Washington Post saying that uh, our personnel should be kidnapped uh, from Europe. Uh, our sources, uh, one alleged source, uh, executed similar statements by uh, right-wing members of the US Congress. In Washington, the influential public figure Christian Whiten is agitating for the indictment of WikiLeaks members, saying they should be treated as terrorists. There also has to be a clear punishment for people who engage in, in what I would consider a form of espionage, a form of political warfare. It's not an uh, act of, of um, journalism or transparency, but an act of um, you know, political war against us. The U.S. ups its efforts to stop WikiLeaks. The payment service providers' money brokers closed down WikiLeaks' account. American hackers suspected of having links to WikiLeaks are detained, questioned and have their computers confiscated. At the end of the day, things involving the web, I think you find, are less mysterious and new than may meet the eye at first. If you just uh, go beyond, uh, I'd say, the surface, you'll find um, uh, telecommunications companies that are hosting the servers or hosting the companies that in turn host this information and have made this possible. You'll find banks that provide banking services uh, to these people. You'll find landlords who provide uh, rent to the individuals involved. So to that extent I, I'm pretty sure you can peel back the onion uh, and find exactly what this organization is, where it uh, conducts its activities and which jurisdiction it's uh, subject to most directly. However, the stronger the attacks, the greater the support WikiLeaks receive. Julian Assange has been without a fixed address for several years, but wherever he lands, activists are on hand to offer him a place to sleep and their services free of charge. People love the idea of a, um, an out-of-control investigative journalist who's trying to take on governments. The story of some quasi-romantic fleet of foot um, Scarlet Pimpernel character in the form of Julian Assange darting in the cyber shadows. Um, it's very you know, appealing. I am very pleased to be amongst so many people I can respect. 
I don't think I have ever been Assange is an ideal media figure. He's been portrayed as the lone ranger of the information age. Me too. Arnie, you are the only one which is sounding like a pure angel. Me? Yes. A pure angel? Yeah, I, 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 so no, no. Praise and prizes have been poured over WikiLeaks. Time magazine has included Assange on a short list for the world's most influential man. You should remember Solzhenitsyn's words that in the right moment, one word of truth outweighs the world. But all is not quiet on the WikiLeaks front. Assange is aware that the Iraqi material that's shortly to be released will generate even more anger. In August, he travels to Sweden. He applies for a residence permit to obtain the protection of the world's most extensive freedom of the press law. Kväll, ja, efter dagar av spekulationer så kan rapport nu avslöja att Piratpartiet tar över ansvaret för säkerhet och drift av sajten WikiLeaks dataservrar. Does this mean that uh, WikiLeaks is becoming even more Swedish? I hope so. To start with, everything goes well. Julian Assange is welcomed with open arms. He is invited to major political and trade union venues, and there are calls that he should be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Julian Assange gör en blixtvisit i Stockholm och när svenska medier får höra om besöket börjar telefonerna gå varma. Ingen vill missa mannen bakom sidan som gjort fler avslöjanden under sin treåriga livstid än vad många nyhetsredaktioner tillsammans lyckats med under årtionden. A couple of days later the picture changes dramatically. Åklagare har nu beslutat att inleda en förundersökning mot Wikileaks-grundaren Julian Assange. Wikileaks-grundare Julian Assange förhördes igår kväll. Swedish authorities have issued an arrest warrant for Wikileaks founder Julian Assange. He's accused of rape and molestation. On the 20th of August, Assange is accused of rape. The alleged crime is immediately leaked to the world press. Behind the accusation are two women who had casual relationships with Assange. The women don't make any public statements, but the important evening paper Aftonbladet publishes an anonymous interview with one of them which states that what started as voluntary sex subsequently became what she described as abusive. But she's not afraid of him and he's not violent. All right, Julian Assange, the WikiLeaks founder and the target of the rape allegations, joins me now on the line. Thank you so much for speaking to us, Mr. Assange. What do you think about this? Clearly, clearly it is a smear campaign of some kind. Well, I, I came to Sweden as a refugee, um, a refugee publisher involved with an uh, uh, extraordinary uh, publishing uh, fight with the Pentagon where our people were being detained uh, with an attempt to prosecute me. Uh, for espionage, so uh, I'm I'm unhappy uh, and disappointed with uh, how the Swedish uh, justice system uh, has been abused. Assange says he never forced anyone to have sex, and that the judicial system has been misused. He implies that he's a victim of personal revenge and U.S. pressure. That troubled a lot of us that had worked with the organization, the way this case was mixed with Wikileaks. The way, of course, there must have been a party at the American Embassy in, in Sweden when they read these news. It's like, yes, we don't have to do anything except just to pass this on. But whatever the truth is, a shadow has now been cast not only on his, but also Wikileaks' name. The rape allegations lead to a storm of protests from WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks has become um, the sensation because the two last big scoops and the only scoops that have been actually played into the.